Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. Now I'm going to show you the easy way to assemble the dome. This is what we came up with. Uh, Tyler and I thought about this for a while and we came up with this telescoping pipe that's going to allow us to build the dome from the top down or disassemble it from the bottom up. It's got a 4 inch and a 3 inch PVC pipe nested together so that they telescope. The dome's only 16 feet tall so we're good. This little head here allows the conduit to clip between these carriage bolts and it keeps it in a pentagonal pattern but still allows it some freedom to move as we go to assemble it and to allow for misalignment and things like that. And so that'll lift the dome from the top and then we'll uh, just build it from the top down. Just like an umbrella for your picnic table, it's got a pulley here on a little ring and this whole thing uh, is kept concentric by these two transitions that we have here. Up at the top you see we've got this three to four inch transition which we bored out on the lathe so that the pipe could actually slide past rather than stick in there like normal. At the bottom end of the three inch tube we've just got a coupler that's turned down to be able to slide inside the four inch pipe. That keeps them concentric and minimizes any bending load. Then the thing is supported by some two by four legs on this little three prong spider here at the top and bottom and then it's all cranked up by a winch. I threw the little spider pieces here on the CNC, and while I waited for that, I went over and filmed Tyler on the lathe, turning down these parts. We had to bore out the little flange here on the three to four inch transition so that the pipes could slide past each other, and it worked out really, really well. It didn't take too long either. The CNC job took a while, so I had some time to spare. Then we slide on the three inch collar at the bottom, and then slide the pipes together, and then slide our little transition, which shouldn't be able to slide, back over the top here. And the test fit looks good, and we have a nice telescoping pipe. And then it was on to making the legs. Then the head was cut out of three pieces of plywood. I marked the centers and drilled them. Then I used a circle cutting jig on the table saw until I had three perfect circles. Then I made a positioning template in SolidWorks and prepared the holes for the carriage bolts. I only drilled the holes through the top circle. Once they were hand tight, I finished them off with channel locks. Then I used a saber saw to cut holes in the two lower circles so that they'd slip over the top of the three inch pipe. Then I got Caroline, Tim, Steven, and Anna to help assemble the apex. We put the five pieces of conduit in a star pattern and bolted them together. Then with the apex bolted together, we would hoist it up to the top of the mast lock it inside the head, and then the best we can, we put all the pieces of conduit that go next at the ends of the five pieces of conduit in order to keep the load balanced. It's probably possible to do this with fewer than five people, but it certainly wouldn't be ideal. With five, you can have equal work and equal load balanced out. And then we simply raise the dome to heights we can reach, and then we just work up from there. And then the last few pieces are put on the ground and bolted in place. Here you can see the dome hovering off the ground a couple inches while the last connection is made. And then you've got an awesome completed dome. To take it apart, you do everything in reverse. You raise the head up underneath the apex and then start taking it apart from the bottom up, making sure to keep the load balanced, of course. And then while I lowered the pipe, my assistants went around and raised each individual piece of conduit to make sure that they didn't, because they wanted to get stuck in the mud, and obviously that's no good. This is kind of a nice safety feature though, because the conduits getting stuck in the mud prevents it from just, you know, falling straight down, which is nice. Well, that's how the one day dome becomes a one hour dome. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.